President Obama's nuclear security summit this week is focused on keeping nuclear materials out of the hands of terrorists. But he has also been supportive of civilian nuclear energy programs, which can, some say, create dangerous waste products that could be used to make weapons. Well, Seth Gray knows something about these issues. He's the CEO of Lightbridge, which has worked with the UAE and other countries to develop safe, proliferation-resistant nuclear fuels. He joins us here uh, in studio. Seth, when people hear reports of Iran, which says, we're developing for energy, not for weapons, and the U.S. says, no, you're developing for weapons, it raises questions about whether there truly is nuclear energy that isn't potentially a threat. Tell me why your company has found a business, how you found a business in this. Right. Lightbridge has developed fuels that will work in the existing types of reactors as well as the new ones that will be built that will prevent the reactors from making any nuclear weapons materials. So even if there weren't inspectors present, they still couldn't use the reactors to make any weapons materials. So you do this based on something called thorium. You right. say that the United States is in some ways the Saudi Arabia of thorium. Right. What is it? Thorium is a metal, and it's found inside sands. The beaches of Long Island and California have a lot of thorium in them, and it's found around the world. It's an abundant material. And so it's, it's an alternative to uranium? Right. We also use uranium in the fuel, but it is an alternative to uranium. Okay. So tell me, when you're listening to President Obama talk about nuclear security and the threat of basically some of this weaponry that already exists falling into the wrong hands, there's also questions about the the decommissioning of some of those arms. What happens to the stuff inside the weaponry? Is there a way to recycle that? Is there a business in there for you? Yes, there's business for Lightbridge. We can take that plutonium removed from the weapons and use it inside our nuclear fuel with the thorium as a fuel that would provide energy, help power the reactors, and get rid of the plutonium by doing it. How is that not a threat, though, to the communities who live by the areas that these materials will be transported through? First of all, you wouldn't want to ship plutonium to any untrusted area. For example, we would never ship a plutonium-bearing fuel into Iran. In terms of the communities with the reactors, having plutonium in the fuel is just as safe as having uranium in it, what they're doing now. There's nothing more dangerous about that, but this provides uh, added power and it gets rid of the plutonium, so then it's not a threat anymore. So you run a publicly traded company that is in the, the nuclear technology business, yet it seems uh, on the policy front that we are seeing this renewed interest in nuclear as an industry. Tell me how you grow right now in the United States. Well, we're growing in the United States, first of all, by working with utilities, working with some of the major companies to help place our fuel into the marketplace in the next few years. We're also providing consulting services overseas and you know, we think soon too, including some companies. Because the U.S. is lagging on this front when it comes to actually building a, a great competitive nuclear energy industry, right? France is out there. You've got the UAE out there with a the nuclear uh, energy infrastructure that some say is really sort of the benchmark. Yeah, absolutely. The U.S. started this industry. It has the most reactors, but it's lost its leadership and we're helping to regain it. How do you do that? Well, we do it by having the new technology that will be at the cutting edge, that will be the dominant fuel used but in the industry. But even with crude oil, you know, it's, it's above 80, but some say there's so much uh, supply out there, it's going to take uh, the price down a bit, that it won't be as, as uh, you won't be as incentivized to look for alternatives. Well, it's interesting that the biggest uh, crude oil providers in the Middle East are now looking at nuclear power because they don't believe that's going to be the case. Fair point. All right. Well, we will continue to track your company, Lightbridge, and uh, the growth of this industry. Thank you so much for Thank giving you. us Pleasure. your perspective. Thorium, who knew? You learned something here today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Seth. Thank you.